the word for today. Forgive yourself. God says in his word, I am he who blots out your transgressions for my own sake, and I will not remember your sins. Put me in remembrance. Let us contend together. State your case that you may be acquitted. Isaiah 43, 25 to 26. If you are condemning yourself because you think your sins are too big to merit God's grace, reread those scriptures carefully. Why did God say he would forgive your sins? For my own sake. So what should you do? State your case that you may be acquitted. Why do we have such a hard time accepting God's forgiveness? One, because in some cases we feel like we're reaping what we have sown. Two, because we have condemned someone else for doing the very thing we ourselves did. Three, because we think God likes to keep us twisting in the wind for a while, so we will think twice before committing the same sin again. Four, because growing up, when we disobeyed our parents, they took away certain privileges until we had proven ourselves. Five, because we think we have to be worthy of God's mercy. But when you refuse to forgive yourself, you're implying that your transgressions are beyond the scope of God's grace. And that's a bigger sin, pride. When you always have issues with other people, you may be looking for someone to offend you. That way, you can point to how bad the other person is and feel better about yourself. When you adopt a humble attitude and work on forgiving yourself because you know God has exonerated you, it's easier to forgive other people's mistakes. That's the word for today.